Recently, a local restaurant in Jenkins discovered one of their customers had paid for their meal with fake bills. Paco's Mexican restaurant had noticed some of their $20 notes were not counterfeit, but instead prop money used for TV and film. At this point, police and city officials got involved to find out who was responsible. We became aware of the situation late Monday evening, kind of like through the rumor mill. Uh, we learned that there were potentially some uh, fake replica $20 bills that were used to pay for some money here at Paco's Mexican restaurant in Jenkins. Uh, working with the restaurant staff, we discovered that that was in fact true. Uh, the restaurant staff identified $40 worth of, of uh, not counterfeit bills, but rec replica motion picture bills that were used to pay for food. One of the big things about this investigation is that throughout the course of this, we discovered that it was juveniles that did this and that the amount of money was relatively low. We wanted to ensure that this, that the parties that were involved uh, took responsibility for it and that they are punished for it, that we want that to happen. But we also want to ensure that, you know, this is a, this is a mistake that was made by kids. Uh, that happens sometimes. We don't want this to be anything that's going to affect them terribly in the long run. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. Anderson goes on to say there's no reason to believe this problem will persist in the community. The bills in question are clearly marked as fake and local businesses should be able to easily identify them by look and feel. This particular situation I believe has, has been resolved. Um, there is a potential, there's always a potential for this to, to be an ongoing problem. Uh, but that's where the businesses, the, the public, that's where they need to step in and do their part. Vigilance, uh, vigilance is, the, is the main key to preventing this from happening again. If you have bills in your hand that feel suspect, don't take those bills. You are well within your right to, to not take those bills if you feel like they're not real. Um, if you have the means to check these bills, to mark them, to put them in any kind of uh, uh, bill identifier, to take them to the bank, anything like that, take those steps. You know, businesses, individuals, protect yourselves. That's the best way to do this. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.